All right, ladies and gentlemen, three three-minute rounds in the bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, under Coach Boy, out of Mutsu Montai, weighing in at 54.2 kilos, with a record of seven wins and six defeats. Give it up for Tendia Singleton! And her opponent, fighting out of the red corner, under Coach Ron Marty, Fighting out of Champions Gym, weighing in at 55.1 kilos, with a record of 10 wins and 5 defeats. Give it up for Whitney Tuna! So guys, like you heard, 55 kilos, 3 by 3 and this fight is sponsored by Gen Fit. We have Queensland vs WA once again. I hope they didn't come down this way for our weather because it's been terrible the last few weeks. Um, they did. They did mention it wasn't great <laughs> for them. So the, uh, the the team there were, were over here anyway for a course. Oh. so the dates happened to line up well for them. Perfect. So they've been they've been here for a week now and um, did definitely complain about the weather. Yeah, I was too. You know, besides pushing through um, the fact that Whitney's coming back after having Bub, you know, tragically, she sadly lost her mother eight weeks out oh, wow. from her fight. So at the very start of your fight camp, um, your mother passes away. You just come back from a baby. What do you do? Well, you get the training and you fight. That's what Whitney does. Take it out on somebody. There we go. So a lot of respect for those fighters that, you know, go through these, these tragedies mm. and, and they continue to, to fight on and get the job done. And people don't know. They don't know. They don't know. It's, it's tough. I mean, fight camp's emotional enough for most yeah. people as it is. And you add these other re really big factors in on top of that. Um, you know, a lot of respect for that. You know, I've, I've, I've had to fight after finding out. Yeah. My father died, and so a lot of respect for what she's doing here right now. Be a lot of mutual respect here. They're both lovely ladies, and uh, I expect this to be a really fun, respectful fight. Yeah. And of course, uh, Elon McDonald, our, our first fight that we watched tonight, was kind enough to drop a four and twin a traveler pie traveler. in front of me. He, he knows the way to my heart. Get and, a traveler in you. And it's a pie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here we go. 54 kilos. Three three-minute rounds. Nice and composed, filling each other out as you expect for this mini fights. Definitely, I like to know how Whitney's nerves are. You know, being a, a long time out and everything she's had to, you know, go through. Mm -hmm. It'd be, I don't know. I couldn't. I, I wouldn't know. Like, no, we wouldn't know. Yeah, this is this is tough and uh, looking good right now. Whitney playing with her stance here. She'll occasionally chop the south ball before stepping back. Nice little double up there by Whitney. Both girls just... No one really wants to pull the trigger just yet. Just feeling it out. Find their range.
good work from both buddies here. The experience is definitely showing. I really like the way Whitney's changing from southpaw. She yeah. seems quite comfortable there. You don't even really notice it. She's transitioning really smoothly. It just puts off the, you know, the momentum too of the old position too when you keep chopping and changing. Mm -hmm. The range got a, is a little bit different. Back to South Pole now for Whitney. I like to see Tandia, regardless if Whitney keeps topping and changing, just throw that right kick. Yep. It, yeah. It, look, Tandia is she's tough. She fights a lot. Um, it, we've got a long way to go yet, but I, I do like what we've seen from Whitney so far. Whitney try and double up those kicks. Good first good, round good by Brad Davies. I think Tandy is going to want to really pick it up yeah. a little bit now. Um, you know, cl close round, uh, but I do feel as if Whitney started to find her groove a little bit more towards yeah. the end there. Definitely end those kicks. A lot more kicks, double up those kicks as well. <laughs> she's a bit more accurate. She's, she's a bit evasive too. Yeah. You think she looks like she's in range, but she's not. She's not, no. yeah. Giving Tandy a good talking to over there. Yeah. Look, both buddies very relaxed, very fresh. Aren't they? Smiles. Listen, yep. Listening to their corners really well. Now, Whitney's husband from one corner and her. Isn't that sweet? Isn't that sweet? I know when I quoted my wife, the only time she listened to me. Oh, <laughs> I didn't even get that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Whitney's ready. What do you reckon? If, if both fighters are ready, just call the break. Let's do this. <laughs> Other hands now. Tendi is just pressing the pace now. Really nice lock. I do like you know watching their expressions in the clinch. You know Whitney was nice and relaxed during there, and you can see Tandy's definitely picked the pace up a bit. Oh, nice left kick! She likes to throw that left kick in south ball. I love a left kick. Oh, absolutely. I don't care if you're left or right-handed. It's all good. I love it. Back to the clinch. Knees from both ladies. Whitney just trying to sneak a hand out there. Both ladies active with the knees in the clinch. Whitney again, just chopping and changing, chopping and changing. Nice 
for the low kick there by Whitney. And she's finding her range with those kicks. Really transitioning from orthodox to southpaw yeah. so smoothly, you almost don't even notice it. And doubling up those kicks. I love a double kick. And she's going low high every, every time. Leg body. Good. Doing that. Oh, no overhand right at the end. Yeah. Overhand right starting to find a home there. So, you know, Tandia's had a fight. She's starting to pick it up a little bit. Pretty evenly matched in that clinch. Both girls are trading knees. No one's really out grappling anyone. Whitney again doubling up those low kicks. You can see a bit of Welton coming up on Whitney's lead leg there. Ten and Tandia just pressing back. Another good round. Another good round. Close fight, competitive. Yeah. I, have, I have to have Whitney Whitney up a bit. Yeah, just with those kicks, just landing every single time. Really accurate. She's quite evasive, you know. Um, Tandy has definitely got after a bit more in that round, yeah. but um, not all of it was landing. No, mm -hmm. she, need, she needs to go after her. Whitney looking good for someone that's been out of the ring for a, a fair while, I a, thought. A long time, yeah. you know. And uh, coming back to this fight, obviously her, her first child, so there's a, a lot of a lot of changes you're going to make to your routine. Uh, she said she has been coming in. She spars with the fighters, but uh, tries to get out of the gym a little bit earlier. Yeah, of course. Um, a, a, as you'd expect. And, you know, it's, it's a lot to deal with, and especially having your mother pass away at the start of fight camp. Um, it, it's clearly been a big strength here. She's not let it bug her. She's come here anyway, and she, it's, it's, it's all working well. She's going to be really happy with herself. And Whitney doesn't need that full two minutes. No, she's not about that two-minute life, is she? No. But Tandy is probably fine to fight now too, but I think Boyd likes to have a bit of a chat. Yeah. Tandy's really got to go after her this round. For me, she's, she's got to finish. Absolutely. Oh, she has to, yeah. Finishing it 55 kilos, easier said than done. Yep. I don't think I do that anymore. Mm. She works so well off southpaw when even though it's a, it's people think it, it's harder than it looks to go the opposite direction. You know the opposite stance. Oh, big time. So the benefit of uh, changing as she does is uh, if that lead leg does get chopped up by legs, as, as Whitney's has a little bit, yeah. um, you're not making an obvious change in stance because of the pain. 100%. You know, yeah. She's just cr cr cruising through what she usually does. Look, really even in the clinch. Tandia has chopped up that front leg of Whitney's. You see it's all marked up. Yep. It's looking it's looking a bit rough. Nothing like a, chucking a swollen kicked leg on an aeroplane home. Oh, isn't that fun? It's that nice check by Whitney there. Sort of lock out there by Whitney. Just taking a moment to breathe.
Tandia is eyeing up that leg. Yeah, she def probably shouldn't have, she needed to attack it early. If you're going to go leg, you've got to go early. It's, it's, you start then in round one. Yep. Oh, nice little upcut in there by Whitney. Whitney. Tandia really pressing forward now, but Whitney, she's, she's really, she fights really well off the back foot with that chopping and change of the stance. Finding a group now here. Yeah, that body kick. Great work, great work. Good fight, both ladies. But um, I'm no judge, but I feel like Whitney's definitely, yeah. definitely brought this one home. Very technical, very smooth. Not even puffing. Not even puffing. <laughs> um, that's definitely a story to tell the grandkids later in life about the coming back from this fight camp and what she's had to be through, go through. You know, she's fighting Tandia, who's been very active. Yeah. You know, she's been fighting, fighting, fighting. Um, that's also going to play in your head as a fighter, having so much time off coming into the ring. 100%. Uh, against an active fighter. Great work. like a cage lion doesn't it yeah <laughs> she she's, wants yeah. to keep going yeah yeah Great work. 